What special guest we have today? We have the great, the legendary, the master puppeteer, Peter Linz. I like to call him Sensei. Ernie from Sesame Street. Walter from the Muppets. I can't believe it. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, not, I'm a little bit nervous. Testing one, two, yes. We got the great Peter Linz, yes. P to the E-T-E-R. Peter Linz. It's gonna be on the show. The great Peter Linz. Peter Linz is waiting. He's actually waiting right now, so I'm just giving you a heads up. Peter Linz is in the waiting room. Participants, two. Dose. Check one, two. Testing. Is this working, Mario? Thank you so much. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. We have questions from kids. I haven't looked at them. That's the rule. I just... Yeah, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna look. Nervous. Um, <laughs> what's the weirdest thing you've done in the name of puppetry? That's a wonderful question. Most of the weird stuff I've done in the name of puppetry involves being stuffed inside of something. Like stuffed inside a, a partially hollowed out sofa or <laughs> stuffed inside an actual kitchen cabinet. I was like, you know, <laughs> in a little fetal position and my hand was through the wall and I had a monitor and okay. Wow, that is weird. I, I got to know how dishes feel. Do you ever get into laughing fits on set? And if so, do you laugh in character or not? You definitely get the laughing fits on set, for sure. Oh, actually, we can't perform the characters at that point because we're laughing too hard. Usually when we start cracking up, the puppets just kind of fall down. And <laughs> <laughs> when you see them slowly going down, you know it's over. Or, or, or even better, you're trying to stifle a laugh and, and you're watching the character on the screen and the character on the screen is shaking like this because <laughs> we're down here. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you love that puppets can do that humans can't? They can say, things in normal situations that a person would never say. Hey man! Hey! Wow, this is cool, baby! I love you, Mario! <laughs> I love you, like, dude! <laughs> and I, I probably would never say that to you just like that. But right. The puppet on the hand, he can say anything. This was actually built by Martin Robinson, the, the guy who plays Telly Monster and Snuffleupagus on Sesame Street. Wow. And uh, it's one he built that looks exactly like this, and I just loved it so much, he uh, made me my own version of it. What a so, gift, so cool. that's amazing. He looks so cool, but he's really simple. I, I don't think there's a stitch on him. I think wow. Marty made him entirely out of hot glue and a sock. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. It's just a yellow sock. It's unbelievable. Because <laughs> Even those little fingers are just kind of hot glue. They're just cut and hot glue. It's great, end. they got so yeah. much character. The arm wire is just a, it's just, a co it's just a coat hanger that's been bent. Uh, love it. Do puppet voices ever come in handy in real life situations? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Computer says my internet connection is unstable. I think it means I'm unstable. <laughs> <laughs> what was like your first official job, Peter, growing up? When I was about eight years old, I did a puppet show for wow. my neighbor two doors up the, the street. It was, it was Kathleen Dowd. I was maybe eight, maybe I wasn't that much older than her. After the show, her mother gave me an envelope and I got home and opened it up and there were two $5 bills in there. <laughs> and I said, Mom, <laughs> this is... <laughs> Mrs. Dow gave me gave me ten dollars. I said, "Why'd she do that?" <laughs> and so, well, she paid you. You did a service. I had no idea. Eight years old, there were already puppets on your hands. Oh, there were puppets on my hands since I was about three. Wow. And my earliest memory is being in preschool, and they had a little stife. Uh, it was a glove puppet of a squirrel. It was beautiful. It was mohair, and I could I carry that thing around. I could make the other kids laugh with the antics that I would come up with with this little squirrel, and I just loved that feeling. Jerome, you know I love you. I know you love me. I'm doing a fish fry tonight. You wanna have some fish? Well, that sounds yummy. We had a kid correspondent that's a pescatarian. It's really healthy. Wow, a pescatarian? I don't get into religion, man. <laughs> Name something on your bucket list. I'd love, I'd love for the, us to bring back the Muppet Show. And the other thing I'd love to do is, is, uh, is do some more live stuff. I'd love to do something in New York City, like you know, Radio City Music Hall or something. Yeah. Muppets. How cool would that be? Oh, totally. What's your most used emoji? Hearts and smileys. <laughs> How do we stop people from arguing on Facebook? I got rid of my Facebook and uh, um, I, uh, I don't see people arguing anymore. Fix the problem. <laughs> you solved it. If you could give advice to your 10 year old self, what would it be? 10 year old self, you need to, you need to take some acting lessons. You need to take some improv and maybe don't study psychology in, in college. I mean, it's great that you're gonna get your bachelor's degree, but maybe do theater instead. Who are your heroes? Jim Henson. For sure, was a hero of mine. All the all the original Muppet guys: Jim, Frank Oz, Jerry Nelson, Richard Hunt, Dave Goals, who I have the great honor uh, to work with and call a friend, and my mom and dad. I mean, 
My parents were so supportive. What Mr. Rogers, uh, you know, always used to say, just you know, close your eyes and think about the people who loved you into being who you are. Mmm, well said. Wow. <laughs> Jerome, do you think that kids should rule the world? It'd be a better place if they were just rule the world. I'm all about that. Do you ever eat from the green ball of sushi? I, I did that one time. I thought it was, I thought it was mint sherbet. Oh no! I tried the mint <laughs> sherbet. I, I was like, woo, mint sherbet. Oh no! <laughs> Do you have any advice you want to give to any of the kids that are watching that, that want to learn puppeteering? Wait, I can answer that question. <laughs> that, that guy doesn't know anything. About that guy doesn't know. Um, this is great. Just, just do it. If you want to learn television puppetry, like the Jim Henson Muppet style of puppetry, you, just, you get a, a, a moving mouth puppet like Jerome. Somebody has a, a mouth that opens and closes and, and eyes that can appear to, uh, to focus or to actually look right into the camera. He's not looking at you. He's not looking at you. He's not looking at you. He's looking at you. Get a camera and a monitor. I mean, it could be a camera hooked up to a television. A phone and computer doesn't work. You're looking at a mirror image if you use a phone. But sometimes there's apps like like real mirror, true mirror or something, so that you can you can hold the puppet up, keep your head out of the shot, and you can see what your audience sees. Mm -hmm. And what's tricky about that is everything's backwards. But but if you practice it enough, uh, your brain kind of makes the flip. If I were at a live show, and I were I were doing this puppet, I'd probably just look like this. Hi, I'm Jerome. How's everybody doing? Good. Don't pick your belly button. But television or, or film, camera is much more intimate. I'm not looking at him directly. I'm looking, I'm looking at the image of him. So, uh, so the magic trick is I'm making those eyes look right at you, man. I crossed paths with you. I was really lucky a long time ago. And you left a big impact on me and my wife, Katie. I've seen you at Maker Faire, you know, uh, Maker Faire, New York City. Yeah, that, that goes both ways. I was blown away by your magic and your genius and your, your, your maker aesthetic, your, your performance, your, your Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> all the love in the world to all the impact that you have on kids all over the world. The millions of kids. You really bring laughter and smiles to so many people. And uh, I feel honored to talk to you. Thank you so much. Yes! <laughs>